Since I started my PhD, I've been fascinated by the different ways that the healthcare system can be organized across the globe. In one extreme, you have the US with a large private market. Then you have European countries where health is mostly publicly financed, but still there are very different ways in which the health insurance system is organized. For instance, here in the UK, there's just one but very large public insurer, the NHS. In other European countries, there are many insurance funds that can be for profit or not for profit and that they compete with each other. Then you have private hospitals in some countries and public hospitals in other countries. On top of this, you can overlay the private insurance market, which can be complementary in some countries and substitute of the public insurance in other countries. When you put all this together, you get a large set of combinations and it's fascinating to think how the different pieces interact with each other in different contexts. The UK government spends around £145 billion pounds in health. This is 50% more than is spent in education and about the same that is spent on housing and environment, transport, security and public order and defence all together. This is massive, huge expenditure. However, not many economists know much about health economics. This is because is not usually taught at undergraduate level. But it's a fascinating field to study. You have almost any market, market failure you can think of. Asymmetric information, public goods, externalities. You can use the tools of game theory, contract theory, industrial organization. And moreover, you have huge amount of data, so it's fascinating to combine the theoretical and empirical work. Thank you.